find the roots of my grandfather, Henry Bailey. He was born in London in some time, 1870, between 1870 and 1874, and was orphaned at a very early age, and placed in an orphanage or children's establishment. You don't I know if he was orphanage, orphaned, or he really was orphaned? Yeah, he, well, he told us he was orphaned. He was placed in, this, in the Strand Union Children's Establishment in Edmund, Edmonton. The reason why I think that this is the case is because I found him in the 1881 census, and he was an inmate of that, uh, Henry Bailey was an in, inmate of that establishment. After he had left the orphanage, he went to London and studied at the Polytechnic in London and joined the Royal Army Medical Corps and was sent to South Africa for the duration of the Anglo-Boer War, 1899 to 1902. As he had no living relations, in, known relations in England, he decided to stay in South Africa, sent for his sweetheart who was waiting for him in Southampton and they were married in Cape Town in 1903. He became the superintendent of the Vaccine Institute in Cape Town and retired in 1933. He then decided that they would go back to England for their pensioning for their old age, but only lasted for two years as he found the climate too unbearable for them. So he came back to South Africa and spent the rest of his days in Cape Town and died at the age of almost 85. And his wife lived until the age of 90. And the wife was Granny Socks. And we called the wife Granny Socks, because she was always knitting socks. And so your quest, you went back to England, you went to look at the census, you went to look for records, but then everything is a dead end. Is that what happened? That's what's happened for the last 10 years. I just can't get any further. Amongst his possessions was a photo of a brass band. And it is dated 1884. 85. The bandmaster, I think, was William Binney, as I have a newspaper cutting of this children's establishment band that played in 1884 and 1885. I then found a photo of the same band, if it is the same band, the Strand Union Children's Establishment, with Mr. Binney still conducting in 1905. So it really was Mr. Binney? I mean, is that, that yeah, could be a clue? Yeah, and Mr. Binney was also in the 1881 census living in Edmonton with his family. He was a retired Chelsea pensioner who had started the band at the Strand Union as a hobby after he took early retirement. So in your quest, with all the dead ends, is there anything that you could ask people to contact you about? Would it be about... Mr. Binney, would it be about Henry Bailey family living in strange countries? There are many Henry Baileys. The quest is to try and identify whether it is definitely William Binney in the 1884 picture. Because if it is, then we will know that Grandfather was indeed an inmate of the Strand Union Children's Establishment. That is what I'd like to find out. If anybody can tell me it is the same person as Bandmaster in the 1884-85 picture and the 1905 picture, I will know that my grandfather was the Henry Bailey that was recorded in the 1881 census. But there's no birth certificate. There is no birth certificate as he was born before it became compulsory in 1875 to record births. He was confirmed when he was 16 by the Bishop of London, Dr. Temple, who later became the Archbishop of Canterbury. But he got into trouble with his confirmation because he laughed at the Bishop's peculiar manner of speech and funny sideburns. So he was thrashed by the school principal and ran away as he was having no more of school who was totally disenchanted with the whole scene as you don't get thrashed at, at your confirmation. So he went to London and was helped get on his way, as he put it, by Sir Quinton Hogg, the, the 
philanthropist who helped boys in need. How did he get you some Sir Quentin Hogg? He met him at a speech by Sir Grant Guinness, a talk at the exit of Horn in London, who entered, and then he went to speak to this Grant Guinness, afterwards who introduced him to his friend Quentin Hogg. And he sent him to the Polytechnic in London, where he studied English, poetry, music, maths, and science. He then joined the Royal Army Medical Corps and was sent to, first of all, to the, the Royal Military Hospital in, South, in Netley, Southampton, where he spent four years in training, and then went to Malta and Cyprus, and finally to South Africa for the duration of the Boer War, Anglo-Boer War, 1899 to 1902. The secret lies in this picture. If anybody can identify the uniforms, whether it's the same band but slightly different, or whether it is definitely the picture of Mr. Binney in both pictures, I will know that my grandfather was definitely an inmate of the Strand Union Children's Establishment, and then I can try and find out where he was born. This, this Henry Bailey was admitted to Strand Union in 1878 from the parish of St. Giles, London. He was not in a workhouse, was, was just admitted by an official when we don't know why. So there are many questions, and I would just like to know if anybody could help me to find out who he was. Henry Bailey. Henry Bailey. But, uh, do you know if he had best friends? His best friend, on his army records, he said he had no living relations. I have them. I, I went to uh, the National Archives in Kew, and I got his complete army record from the day he joined in 1893 to 1905 when he was discharged in Cape Town. His best friend was Stiles Willis. Stiles Willis. Who lived in London somewhere and who later became the manager of a hotel in Birmingham. But then I think he died during the war 1916 or so. But his name was definitely Stiles Willis who grew up in Greenwich.